Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're starting another revised series of videos called Airport Future, in which we look at different major airports in Canada, as well as the rest of the world, to see what they've got in store for the future in terms of improvements and expansions, and also the existing and new transit connections the airport has with its whole city. Kicking off this new series, we'll be looking at the Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport, also known as YUL, the third busiest airport in Canada by passenger traffic and a major hub for Air Canada. Located in the town of Dorval, west of the city of Montreal, the airport serves a very respectable 19 million passengers in the year of 2018, and is growing quickly year by year as the primary airport serving Quebec, the Atlantic provinces, and eastern Ontario. In this video, we will first give you guys a rundown of the main terminal building of the airport, the three runways, and the network of taxiways serving them, as well as transit and driving availability of the airport. And then we'll move on to the new expansions that the airport is getting, as well as any major changes coming to the airport and its nearby lands. Enjoy the video! To start off, let's first break down the facilities currently available at Trudeau Airport. The main and only terminal building has two stories, and is separated into four different areas. The middle body part of the terminal is the public area shared by each of the three arms, dedicated for checking in, shops and cafes, and various other services. The eastern arm of the terminal, as well as the satellite concourse to the northeast, altogether make up the domestic jetty of the airport, where you can find 26 gates in total serving flights that are heading to or arriving from airports within Canada. The northwestern arm of the terminal is the international jetty, where 18 gates serve international flights to and from countries apart from the US. And the last arm is the southwestern transborder jetty with 18 gates that only serve flights to or from airports within the United States. Most of the terminal was expanded and revitalized within the last couple of decades, with the newest expansion being the international terminal expansion that was completed in 2016. The $620 million expansion added a quite a sizable area that contains 7 new boarding gates and various restaurants, shops, and open spaces. Let's now move on to the runways and taxiways of the airport. The airport has two parallel north-south runways and one east-west runway in between them. And we've got an extensive network of taxiways for planes to travel between them and the terminals. In between the runways, you can find offices, hangars, and plants for different aerospace companies and airlines including Bombardier, Lockheed Martin, Air Transat, and Air Inuit, and notably with the headquarters of Air Canada located here as well. If you are planning to drive to the airport, it's about a half an hour drive from downtown Montreal, and the main roads and highways that will get you to the airport include the east-west autoroute 20 to the south, the north-south autoroute 520 to the east, and the east-west autoroute Chamedy west that connects the Trans-Canada Highway and the autoroute 520. After getting to the airport, you can park at any of the numerous parkades and parking lots on site, with the main parking area being the big short-term parking parkade at the very northern end of the main airport loop, in which you can also find car rental companies, as well as the long-term parking lot to the south of the parkade. If you are like us and prefer using transit to get to the airport, there are a few options as well. The 747 Airport Downtown Shuttle Service is a 24-7 shuttle that will take passengers from either Leonor Gru Metro Station or Barry Ukam Metro Station to the airport, with the former being a direct shuttle and the latter having 10 stops on the way into and out of downtown Montreal. The intermodal bus and rail station of Delvelle is right at the southern end of the airport on Autoroute 20. It is served by both extra trains on the VH line as well as via train routes on the corridor out of Montreal and Quebec City. In order to get to the airport from here, passengers can take a shuttle bus known as Air Connect, and it's free for all via rail passengers. The closest metro stations to the airport are Namur, De La Savane, and Du College on the Orange Line, and you can get to the airport either via the 747 shuttle bus from Leonard Gru that we mentioned earlier, or by taking a couple of buses from Du College station with similar travel times. Alright guys, so this is the current state of affairs for Montreal Trudeau Airport. We've got our main terminal where you'll be able to access everything, three runways, as well as numerous options to get to the airport. Much of the airport has been renovated to bring up to date and to the standards of the current time, but there's still a lot to be done to increase capacity for the growing passenger volume. 
modernize parking and driving access, as well as connect the airport better to the public transit options in the area, which is definitely a weaker point of the airport right now, with only commuter slash long distance rail access or shuttle bus access right now. First up, we'll talk about the new expansion project that was unveiled last year in 2018 that will cover expansions up until 2030. This expansion project was announced by Aeroports de Montreal, the non-profit organization that runs the region's airports, and it will mean multiple expansions, renovations, and additions to the airport for the terminal, parking, and transit, with $2.5 billion planned to be used for the five-year first phase of the expansion. As part of this first phase, a new remote passenger jetty will be built on the grounds of the current east-west runway, adding 10 to 15 gates to the airport, and resolving the shortage of terminal gates currently being experienced by the airport. This remote jetty would then be connected to the main terminal as part of the second phase of construction, creating a massive structure that will definitely improve the experience of flying in and out of the airport, and give the airport a lot more room to grow into. The other big part of this project is the revitalization of the parking facilities here at the airport. This will see the main parkade of the airport demolished, and the whole area inside of the main loop converted into a multi-level parking structure and drop-off zone, complete with green roof and glass roof. This will be a much needed improvement to the old parking lot and parkade, as well as adding many more parking spaces for the growing passenger demand. And located 35 meters below this parking lot is the final piece of the puzzle. Along with the parking lot, a new station of the REM will be built here to finally connect the airport to the city with a reliable and frequent rail link. The REM is a future rapid transit system under construction in the Greater Montreal area around Montreal, which will link several suburbs with downtown Montreal via Central Station. Most of the system will be a conversion of the previous Du Montagne commuter rail line. It will have three different branches, with one of them terminating at the airport in the future. When the system is completed, it will become the fourth largest automated transit system in the world, and it will greatly improve transit connectivity to Montreal's suburbs and serve as a transit connector alongside the Montreal Metro. This branch of the REM, along with the Montreal Trudeau Airport Station, are co planned to be completed by 2022, and we are looking forward to riding it by then. Besides this main expansion project, a master plan from 2013 also shows some more future improvements that are in the works right now including the development of a new air cargo handling area and taxiways that will support it, a reconfiguration of the International Arrivals Hall and of the domestic and international departures luggage area, as well as an extension of the transporter jetty. No new runway is planned despite the future retiring of the east-west runway, but that will probably come in the future along with growing demands. In the future, the REM will definitely be extended from the airport to Dorval Station as well to complete this section of transit connectivity and giving passengers more options to get to the airport. Alright guys, this is what Montreal Trudeau International Airport will look like in the future, with lots of great improvements coming to the area. We hope you enjoyed this video and the expansions we've mentioned. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below to tell us what you're most excited about for YUL. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and consider supporting us on Patreon for behind the scenes and early access to our videos and content, as well as more in-depth discussions. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you in the next one.